Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 4. Big update, they are now using Unreal Engine 5. You will see that a lot of parameter change inside of the game. So we're going to start to optimize Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game, so first of all, make sure that your window mode is at full screen. You don't want to play window, full screen or window mode. Uh, it seems to cause like some weird stuttering. So it's super important to use full screen. For resolution, make sure that you're playing your native resolution. So if you have like a 1080p monitor or 2K, 4K, depending on your monitor, make sure that you're playing native. 
I don't use VSync. I just unlock my FPS. I want like the uh, maximum input, like the less input lag when I play the game and the maximum FPS. If you have FreeSync or G-Sync technology, I recommend to use that. If you don't like tiering when you're playing the game, you can definitely activate your VSync, but you will add a little bit of input lag when you're playing the game. For frame rate, like I said, I just play unlimited. Uh, here, really important, if you have bad thermals, you're playing on a laptop or you're, you have a bad desktop computer, don't go too crazy with frame rate, just limit them to the amount of Hertz of your monitor. So if you have like a, a monitor with 120 Hertz uh, refresh rate, just lock your FPS at 120 FPS uh, because sometimes you can like have issue with thermal, it will cause throttling and after that you will lose like your game will start stuttering, you will lose some megahertz on your GPU, CPU, so don't do that. For rendering mode, if you have something recent, just go DirectX 12, it's pretty good now on Fortnite. Uh, if you have like an NVIDIA series 1000, 2000, 3000, and the last one 4000, definitely go DirectX 12. If you have something old and not very powerful, I really recommend the performance lower graphical fidelity. Uh, it, it wasn't better, now it's it's pretty much, uh, you can select it, and I didn't have any issue on it. No crash and stuff like that. So, definitely use that. Now, let's change the graphics setting. You will see that a lot of stuff changed, because now it's running on Unreal Engine 5. So, we're gonna start with the first one, until using in super resolution. I just put this one at off. Uh, I don't like anti-aliasing in this game, and I'm not a big fan of TSR, honestly. Don't use that. It's worse than FSR2. It's worse than DLSS. I'm pretty sure they're going to patch the game and re-add DLSS or maybe FSR 2.1, something like that. Uh, be, but right now, you just have the TSR option, and it's not good, so don't use it. Uh, after that, 3D resolution, make sure that you're playing at 100%. After the old guide, if you're still struggling with your FPS, you can go with something like 90, uh, but don't go lower than that. Your image quality will decrease a lot. Nanite Virtuals Geometry, just go with off. Uh, if you don't playing, uh, if you don't play in DirectX 12, you will not have uh, this, uh, um, this parameter, so just like don't you don't touch it for shadows shadows will provide you a lot of fps if i compare epic to off you can expect 16 percent boost in your fps and it will be a little bit better for visibility so so just use off global illumination reflection just go off also it will help a lot to stabilize your fps view distance this one is kind of important because it's about it's a battle royale you want to see far uh from in front of you for objects enemies and stuff like that so i recommend to go with far and even a pick if you can do it if you're playing for for sure on a laptop or a very old computer go with something like medium because it takes a lot of resources to run your view distance high after that for texture if you have six gig and more of your ram normally you should be fine at epic 4 gig at high, 3 gig at medium, and less than 2, 3 gig go with low. For auto download high resolution, if you want to use that, you need like a, just a proper internet connection and a lot of space on your hard drive. If you don't have that, just select those one at off, but it will not affect your FPS. But it can cause stuttering if you don't have a, a proper space and a proper uh, download speed. Effect, I recommend to go with low. You don't want any visual effect when you're fighting. It can drop your FPS. You want like to stabilize your FPS. Make sure this one is at low. Post-processing, it's for uh, image cl clarity. You don't want some weird motion blur, depth of field, bloom. So put this one at uh, low. Advanced graphic, I recommend to show FPS to see the amount of FPS that you have, you know, to compare when you're changing a graphic parameter. Latency marker, also, you should definitely put this one at on. If you have access to NVIDIA Reflex, put this one also at on. After that, in the setting, I recommend to, uh, just a sec, we're gonna go to NVIDIA Highlight. Make sure that you're not running this one can cause weird stuff with overlays and the way that they record your gameplay and make sure that all the replays are at off. The one parameter also that you can change is the sound quality. If you have a very old or bad CPU, this one can affect your amount of your number of FPS. So go with low and uh, sometimes it can be surprising. You can expect like three to 5% increase in your FPS if you're playing like on an old like Core Duo from Intel, something like that. 
So this is pretty much it. If you have any question, guys, about Fortnite Chapter 4 with the new Unreal Engine 5, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.